Right guys, so today I want to show you some of the materials and consumables that I'll be using for the carbon fibre spark cover project. Um, so, just arranged everything out on the table for now um, and we'll go through each bit individually, what it's for and why we're using right, so that. It's a bit windy today so I'll do my best to go through it, hopefully you can hear me. Um, so, let's start with the most obvious. We've got some carbon fibre cloth here. I uh, can't remember whether this is, I think this is 12 weave, um, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure it is. Um, this came from Easy Composites, quite a lot of this stuff came from Easy Composites um, and I will certainly be leaving a link to them in the description, if not a clicky card up there. Um, they've been great, great communication, very fast shipping and um, more affordable than you'd think. So that's carbon fibre, um, as well as the carbon fibre, um, I've got this which is a um, release film. Um, now when you're doing this, when you're uh, using vacuum infusion, you should have uh, a release film, uh, well your peel ply should be first, then a release film, um, and then a soak up layer I believe. I'm sure there's another layer I'm missing out, but that's what I can remember off the top of my head. So, to make sure that everything doesn't stick to the vacuum bag itself, we need some of this. So, that's release film, also from Easy Composite. As well as, um, obviously, the epoxy resin. Um, now, the only problem I've got, I haven't got a vacuum chamber to get all the air bubbles out, so this could end up with some bubbles in it but I'll try and get them out as best I can um, and I've got some rollers to help me with that so again easy composites for the resin and the hardener and I'm gonna leave it in the box because I'm not trying to get it out the soak up layer which is like five meters way more than I need but the only problem with ordering from sites like that is they only deal in large quantities. So I've got a lot more than I need for this project. So I've got some fiberglass matting as well, some gel coat. Um, so gel coat mixes in two parts. Um, this is Bailey's fiberglass, um, got from a seller on eBay. It's cheap enough, um, but you absolutely need this to be able to make a mould. Um, because this is the layer that you will give you your shiny surface essentially this will be the surface that you wax and then, P um, and then PVA when you lay down your carbon fibre so this will be between the fiberglass and the carbon fibre not at the same time obviously this will have gone off um, so that's that so, I'm trying a method, and I'm not sure whether it will work, and I'm using vacuum bags, household vacuum bags. They may work, they may not. Um, came with a little pump, and so far, testing them, they seem to work pretty um, well. So, to try and get the air bubbles out and make sure it goes through every part of the mould, I've got these needle rollers, so I've got several of them. Um, hopefully, they'll do the trick for trying to get rid of as many air bubbles as possible. So, my PVA release agent and uh, oh, that's my fiberglass resin and obviously for measuring everything some scales cheap enough scales off ebay do the trick 24 quid not too bad mixing sticks and caranuba wax caranuba wax however you pronounce it like i said yesterday i've got i can't pronounce it for the life of me um so that's pretty much what I've got material wise for making it um, but I will check out Easy Composites, they're very affordable um, and they um, they do pretty much everything you need so right, thanks guys, see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe